Hey everybody, Dave from Mac Geek Ab here, and I get to tell you today about not only one of my favorite apps, but one of our CES coverage sponsors here in 2024, and that is Mac Updater from Core Code. You can get it at corecode.io slash MGG. This is one of those apps that I don't want to have to live without. You know when you go to launch something and it says, and maybe it's something you haven't launched in like four to six weeks, and it's like, hey, there's an update. Do you want to do that now? The answer is no, I don't want to do it now. I want to have did it by now because I want to use the app now. But yeah, I want the updates and I want to know about updates before I go to launch apps, right? It's nice that apps can tell us, like that's been a nice thing. But really, I want apps to just remain up to date on my Mac. That's what Mac Updater does, right? So when you first launch it, it scans all of your, you know, your drive and lets you know what's up to date or what needs to be up to date. And then you can select quick update apps and it'll show like there's one, this anchor work app. Okay, great. And then I can just choose update all selected and it will go and do that update. You can see it right now. It's doing it in the background. It often like it's, it's rare that an app requires some intervention from me. It can just do it. I've given Mac updater permission to just update my apps so we can do it. You can even have it do it automatically. I don't like to, I like to be able to see what's going to update because you get to look and you get to dig in and you know, you can, you can click the little, uh, the, you know, the details here and see what version you're coming from and what version you're going to. You can see it's done the update and now it's just kind of doing the last little steps here. It's really, uh, and then that's it. You can, and we can look and say, okay, well here, time machine mechanic. All right. So here's some details. I can link to the uh, update notes, the change log. Sometimes it'll even show me the change log. I can choose upgrade there. And uh, I'll bring this window down so we can all see it. And it says, it's a major version upgrade. Are you sure you want to do it? And I'm like, yeah, I want to do it. I, I want to go from 1.19 to 2.0. Of course. So I do it. And that update's now happening too. It's really an amazing piece of software that just kind of makes my life so much easier. You got to go check it out again, corecode.io slash MGG for Mac updater. One of my favorite apps. Look, you can, you can dig in here. Like I said, you get to control this privileged helper tool so that it can do all the things that you want. You can make backups of your apps before you do those updates, just in case there's a problem. And then you can have it update everything automatically. Like I said, but I don't, I, 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 I'm too much of a control freak for that, but I want my apps up to date. And Mac Updater makes sure they are. It can do the same for you to, again, go check it out. Corecode.io slash MGG for Mac Updater. A fantastic app. You're going to love using it. We love using it. We love that they are our sponsors. Make sure you let them know that uh, you appreciate them sponsoring all the CES coverage that's coming from us here. And uh, yeah, our thanks to Mac Updater. And stay tuned for right here. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage. And uh who knows what else Pete and I are going to dig up from CES. We'll see you there.